Well, you guys asked for it. We're gonna give it to you. It is a father-son TA Fishing TA Outdoors overnight collaboration. I'm gonna camp in this shelter behind me at the bushcraft camp. Dad is gonna camp in the cabin, the pallet wood cabin which we built together, which is yeah. just over there. You can see by the camera it's getting pretty dark. Yeah. So we gotta get the camp set up. I've gotta get yeah. camp set up really and my gear out and you've got to start getting the, the stoker. Where that, are we right? eating tonight? My place or your place? Uh, we could dine at mine tonight, I believe. Okay. Dine at tonight. I think Probably, it'd be warmer. <laughs> it might be dinner at eight, but I mean because guys it gets dark about four o'clock here, so it might be dinner at five or something <laughs> like that. Depends how cold we get. It will. Alright, well dinner at yours and breakfast at mine then. Yeah, that's, that's a fair deal, isn't it? Yeah, Alright, let's deal. get set up. <laughs> I don't like it, it's dark. <laughs> well, well so we, we added the moss, didn't we, um, yes, the other day, Dad, when we came here? Yeah, we've done the moss to it. It, it looks a bit better now. And obviously, the other ones you saw, we, we toned it all down with a stain, and do you know what? It's really toned in well, isn't it? It's nice, look how it blends in now with that moss. But we've left the inside on natural wood, and when we get you know, a camera light in there and the candles go in, hopefully, they light. Uh, you'll be able to see it looks really warm and cozy. I it's, can't wait to get the stove going. I know, I know, we've got the stove all set up. The moss yeah. is there to help stop the rain making a noise on the metal roof. Dad, you got some wood organised over here. You're, uh, you're a bit of, more organised than me. There's a load of big wood. I've got kindling wood down there on the inside. Heaps of kindling wood to get started. And uh, that thing is definitely going to keep me warm tonight, for yeah, sure. The old stove. We're getting dark already, people. Yeah. So while Dad is getting the stove ready, I'm going to be setting up in what remains at the bushcraft camp. That's it. In the previous video, we started stripping it back. That's all that's left now. The large lean-to, which has a bit of a leaky tarp at the top. The raised bed is a bit wonky, but it should be good fun. Got the fire pit down there, I'll get that going in a bit. But obviously we're gonna cook up in the cabin first, and it, it is looking inviting over there. But I'm looking forward to this, it should be good. I've got all my gear. It is, ladies and gents, three o'clock. So we're a bit late <laughs> turning up to the woods. Got my saw, Dad's got the axe, got some water in the side, sleeping bag, uh, inflate, uh, air mattress, and that's pretty much it, a couple of tools in the side here, so we're all good to go. I'm just going to sort this tarp out above first. You can see the tarp's looking a bit sorry for itself. I've got a gap there, where we just dismantled it the other day, so it's all kind of falling a bit apart. I mean, the main part's covered, but it's obviously got some holes because the bed's a bit... <laughs> you can see it's a bit wet. So yeah, going to have to pray that it doesn't rain too much in the night. Otherwise I'll be joining Dad in the cabin. But let's sort this out. A bit better anyway. You can see there's still puddles. Still puddles, it's probably just as well that I'm taking it down tomorrow. Let me give you a quick tour of it. So this is essentially the last lean-to shelter. The super shelter where I've got the tarp, the reflective, not reflective, but see-through clear tarp that comes down so that it bounces the heat back to the fire. Little window there, the raised bed, uh, some side walls, it's looking a bit sorry for itself now. And the back, that's the back. With an air pipe here, which the draft prevailing wind comes in this way, so the draft goes in there. And we made it so that it went into the camp. And just down there is the air pipe entrance, which would give better flow for the fire. I like this thing. Should be a good night. And here is all our wood that we stored for the camp and put tarps over, which we didn't film in the last video, but you saw us stacking it in the last video, trying to keep it dry. We've had so much rain already. You can just see it puddling. So I'm gonna have to sort this tarp out at some point, stop all this, because that'll just continue to puddle.
So it's dark, it's gone four o'clock now. We've got the stove going and in the cabin, the pallet cabin. But because it's still early in the afternoon, we're gonna build a new sawhorse because this one, well, you guys might remember from Bushcraft Camp Update, I don't know, four yeah. or something like that, maybe even three. It's been great, it's lasted that many years, but it is getting a bit flimsy, isn't it? And well, we, would, we wanted to put another support extension. in there. So yeah. we're gonna make a bigger one, a better one. We've got all this resources behind us under the tarp. So uh, yeah, we're gonna work in the dark a bit and then we're gonna get some food going. We probably won't finish this today at all. Reconstituted nails as well. I oh, know. Recycled wood from yeah. the bushcraft camp. Exactly. Recycled Please. nails from the pallet cabin. They came out of the pallet cabin when we moved it. Yeah. Well, you can see immediately, or hopefully you can, the extension to the sawhorse, which we should have done the first time round, makes it a proper sawhorse. Because rather than just wobbling on two, it wobbles sometimes we have an extension. This way, you can just take small segments off. Look, I can take, well, that's six inches, I could take five inches off there if I wanted to, and it's still nice and rigid because I've got a nice short, what we call a neck. If I move it along, I'm still supported at the back, I'm still supported there, and this is the idea of it. This is supports for the bottom, by the way, but it just shows you it does actually work. And you see how rigid that is. That's the sawhorse extension, and there's only one last thing to do. Whoa, 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 calm down. Okay. <laughs> they think it's just them Texans that do this, boy. <laughs> Get around. I seen them rodeo films. I know what they do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. This is a bucking bronco, and I did say bucking. <laughs> So we've made our little sawhorse. Dad's helped to complete that. We're happy with it. We're in the cabin. It's so warm, isn't it? Unbelievable, especially when you stand up at the apex of the roof. Yeah, it's really warm in here. It's a benefit. I know a lot of people say it's really small, but I guess it's a benefit of it being small is that Cozy. it heats up super fast. We've got the G-stove going. We've lit some candles. Don't worry, we've made sure that they're not too close against the roof, the pallet it's wood, anyway, but it's yeah. metal roof, so they should be fine. Yeah, and we're going to um, blow them out anyway. So. Yeah, we'll blow them up. Well, you'll be blow blowing them out, otherwise yeah. you'll... Uh... We've got the window up still at the moment. Lay the table, stove's going well. I think it's time for some food. I absolutely agree.
So what we have here, very simple dish. We've got vegetable and bean sprout, stir fry with some chicken and sweet and sour sauce. Keeping it simple, up in the cabin. Let's tuck in down. Mum's, Mum's tablecloth. I've even got my little folding sport from two Christmases I think ago. I thought, what a useless piece of equipment. It's not. <laughs> now. What have we got? We got Spitfire gold or, or original plain? Spitfire. Spitfire is a very British ale. This is the pale ale. I think I've got the pale. Yeah, whichever the gold. One, whichever one you want. I've got the pale ale. Well, you like the, the sort of darker ones usually, don't you? I like Multi. a dark beer, me. You like a malt like beer. Like a man's colour beer. <laughs> Spitfire Brewery, yeah. Spit, brewed by Britain's oldest brewer. Spitfire, oh, really? yeah. Balanced gold out, very nice. But I, I do like Spitfire, I've had it a number of times before. But we, we do like our real ales, don't we, Dad? Yeah, 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 no, I don't like a drink at all. Maybe lunchtime in the summer. You don't like your craft With beers. Mediterranean <laughs> cooking, and that's yeah. it, yeah. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Cheers, Dad. To Father Son Overnighter, and thanks to you guys and for joining along. To a good night's sleep for the old boy in here. <laughs> it's toasty in here. You're it's toasty. Be, you're going to be fine. We put the temperature up here, even at this height. This height was 24 degrees just now. No, 26. 26 degrees. 26 degrees. That's my kind of temperature. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in winter, and I'm going to. I haven't even got a fire going yet out there. Dad's got some sleeping gear back here. Yep, I'm going to get set up. You got your mat, sleeping gear. I've got my gear all in this bag. Let's tuck in. Good show. Butter knife, really? Yeah, that'll do. Is this? Oh dear. It's real bushcraft. <laughs> mm, that sauce is nice. Yeah. It's got a spice to it, isn't it? No. Mm. I tell chili, a lie. Sweet, I think I said chili. it was sweet and sour. That's sweet chili. Sweet chili sauce is here. No wonder. Mmm. It's got a tang. Yeah. Let's get another mm. piece of bit on that. The old stove is glowing away. Mm. A bit like Dad's sleeping bag will be later. <laughs> no. But all these candles. <laughs> That'll be glowing. Parts of my body might be glowing after eating all this broccoli. <laughs> what you do is you get, you get rid of every chink and crack except one. <laughs> I reckon the moss will really insulate it a bit more as well because the metal's cold normally. But that moss will help to keep that <clears throat> heat in here. So mm. yeah, a lot of guys, you said um, on the video we just put up about taking the bushcraft camp down, a lot of you got a bit hurt by it and emotional, so we apologise for that. But we're not, you know, like I say, it's already done that project. It's, it's, it was a big project of mine. I've done it over years and years, but all the videos are still there. So if you want to, if you want to watch the, the, the camp build again, I'll put a link in the description and you can watch all the camp updates again from one to whatever it was, 17. But it was time for a change, wasn't it, Dad? Yeah, well, <clears throat> five years. Five, I think it's about five years. You salvage so much of the original dead wood, yeah. he, can, he can make what he wants. I know, so that's the, that's the plan, you know, it's something different. And, and you can still join me on the adventures, you can still watch me build some different things and camp in them. We are gonna keep that, a lot of you said about the pallet cabin, are we gonna get rid of it? No, we're keeping no. this, we're definitely keeping this. So, um, yeah. And what's be better is when we moved it, is now all around the edge. It's not all boggy, is it? No. I've had a lot of rain, mm. but it's just nice to be able to walk around it and not, you know, go over the side of your shoes or boots. Yeah, that last site we had it on just got way too boggy. This yeah. is much better ground. Right, chaps. I think it's my turn to get the fire, get my fire going, Dad, at least. Get it going. You're sorted now. You don't have to do much, oh, you know. Lovely, lovely. I've got a leaky tarp. <laughs> I can't wait. Leaky tarp. Tarp. <laughs> yeah, the tarp. Tart. The tarp. Tart. Tart. <laughs> yeah. The tarp. No. I've, yeah, I've got leaky tarp. I call it the politician. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's self-inflating. <laughs> you unscrew a valve and it just... Yeah, that's it, similar it, to mine, but I just, just blow, it, it, blow I put there. a bit of air in there as yeah. well, yeah. But, uh. So, while well, Dad is washing up the cabin, I've got the fire going. And I'm just splitting some of this. I think this is, yeah, this is all pine. I, I kept a load of firewood, those of you remember, the old bushcraft camp that was here. I kept a load of firewood. That's a bit of a knotty one, that one. Yeah, I kept a load of firewood from it. So, it's just a case of splitting these bits. So, because some of this, it looks dry, it's still quite damp. I'm going to do... Well, I like to call it just a log cabin fire lay. So you just stack it up like Jenga, really. 
and essentially what that does is it allows it's got gaps in it and it allows airflow air to flow in between these logs or these sticks and basically it, it dries them out at the same time it creates a chimney effect so that air is being drawn through the middle of the fire as you can see now and that flame just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it's quite a fast burn so it does eat through your wood a bit quickly but when it's wet wood it's a, just a good way of getting a big fire going relatively fast i could stack that up to maybe three or four more but i'll leave it there for now and that'll burn away nicely In the back, I've gone for a traditional backpack today. I've just got camera, I've got a lot of camera gear as usual camera gear, camera gear, batteries, etc. Uh, a, a lens. What else have we got? I've kept it pretty minimal. Camera light, <laughs> some little foldable cups, and there's all there's sort of tools and stuff in the front here, but I don't need those. So, really, for sleep system, I've just got a air mattress, sleeping pad, and a sleeping bag. A bit of a warmer one today, so gotta get the mattress blown up. Get that on this raised bed, which is pretty damp in some places, which is why I've got the mattress. And then I'll probably go and check out what Dad's doing. The last overnight at the camp. <laughs> and it's a nice evening. No rain is forecast, which is good. Probably just as well as I've got a leaky tarp. It's a nice still evening. The fire is going. I don't know what Dad's doing. I can't see over there. See some lights glowing in the cabin. The other thing, this obviously I use throughout the winter, keeps reflects the heat back onto your body. It's really important, especially if you're sleeping on the ground, which I do a fair amount of. But also these sticks, even though I've chopped, chipped them away with the axe, They've still got some real knobbly bits. You probably can't see that, but there's some knobbly bits along here. I don't really fancy those going into my back throughout the night and making it pretty uncomfortable. So when you have something like this that folds down pretty small, I don't really mind. I'm not gonna get my sling bag out just yet because of these drips, they're probably gonna drip on it. And uh, even though I should air it, it's kinda, I can see it just getting wet. So I'm pretty much sorted, bed is ready, fire's going. I'm gonna go and check out what Dad's doing in the cabin. I've got beer, I've still got beer in there to finish actually, so let's head on over and have a chat and chill with Dad. Don't lose the bag as well. I can see a head torch over there. He's doing something. <laughs> Look at the glow of the cabin lights. doing something. Progress is being made. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm just filling up the pillow part of my mat mattress with sweet chilli sauce breath. <laughs> so, if you remember guys who followed us all watching this pallet cabin series. It is cosy in here. It's so warm with that fire. Yes, yeah, roasting. So, this, is a, this is where we seat, seat ourselves. I'll just move those two bits. That goes up there. Just hooks up there, and you can see we can use it as storage and or sleeping. Put those down there. We've got bed slats and everything. We've got bed slats, which Uncle Graham is not sleeping on, I assure you. <laughs> and I've got my roll away. Oh, it's a perfect fit. I use this fishing. I use this fishing because it just takes a damn listen. Now, guys, if you go out camping, you should all know about ground sheets and the fact you do not want the damp getting into your body from the ground. That's cool. But this one apparently just. You, know, you can hear it hissing. Yeah. It hisses and it sort of fills itself up. And even if it doesn't, sometimes they just blow up and top it all off. And I've got my lightweight super. <laughs> super. <laughs> Your super, winter four season sleeping bag. This is my super backpack that most people would take in Alaska, Canada. <laughs> few people use it on Everest. It's a, it's a bin liner. <laughs> You've got to see this sleeping bag. <laughs> Fishermen are superstitious. There's oh, a, Dad, what the... Yeah, that's my pillow I go fishing with. I don't go fishing with it, do I? I go fishing with it, but I'd use it. It's got a pillow. It's, it's looking like a bed, but wait till you... 
I don't know if I can actually. Where it gone? Because Mum absolutely hates this sleeping bag. She wants me to burn it. Really? Yeah. How old is it's it? It's clean. She washes it. It's so old. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to show you how worn it is. So here's my sleeping bag. That's all there is to it. That's a summer one, I think. The one side is slightly the worse uh, for wear. What the hell? <laughs> slightly the worse for wear. That chilli sauce obviously was a bit much for those nights. <laughs> and it's because a lot of the time, I just got it from second hand in a second. So I don't think I'm buying a new one. I'm surprised it hasn't got duct tape on it. No, but why I do fishing, I just, I'm just telling this for fishermen, obviously tonight it should be wrapped up, but I just leave it totally unzipped like that. So when I'm fishing, I can just throw it out and rush out and grab a fish. And that's oh, God's honest truth. I yeah, just use it as a throwover. Well, you will at this like, temperature. I bet it's more than 26 now. What's it reading, Dad? What, the tog weight in this? <laughs> <laughs> that's 30. Hold on, let me get in on that. 26 of it. 7 now. No, 28 degrees now. 28 degrees. I bet at the top here, right at the apex, yeah. if I tucked it out there, I'm going to be 30. It's, just, it's so hot it's, in here. It's so hot. I'm going to have to go back to the camp. Yeah, so no, we'll come and sit. I've still got a beer somewhere. Oh, yeah, you got it. Thank you. Yeah, you got a beer. Well, welcome to my abode. Here it is. It's very uh, cozy, yeah. I kind of feel sorry for Mike. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> I really kind of feel sorry for him, you know. Right, subscribers, which would you rather stay in? The pallet cabin here? Or the bushcraft camp, or what's left of the bushcraft camp. Comment below. Which do you want to stay in? Uh, this is this is the work. this is no problem here. No problem. Look, if I go fishing all night, this is a luxury. Yeah, but you can't bring a pallet cabin with you fishing. <laughs> no, that's true. And of course, if the wife was here and she's really bending my ear all night, I've done this. You haven't done that. Why haven't you married the lord? I can just <laughs> like talk. a coffin. I can just cut myself. Off. <laughs> Right. Anyway. Can you put that on the shelf, Dad? Cheers. Yeah, put this up there. You might as well come and finish your beer. Yeah. Here's your beer, mate. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. It's lucky to be alive, that beer. <laughs> well, it's like Mike. Uh, we all get a bit sad, you know, with the change of things. Nobody likes change, do they, really? Taking the bushcraft. Oh, down. the camp. Now, yeah, you get a bit nostalgic. I can, and I can tell you, I can tell you that's nothing. That's nothing <laughs> to the shock I had when I tried to make. Mike doesn't know about this, by the way. He hasn't seen these. Tell me what that is. We did this. Oh, <laughs> it's a sludge. It was like play day. That's clay from our own house, which I dug up. Yeah. In the garden, at the back of our house. You can see it's. I dug it right. That's squishy. I mean, that's one year old, and it's still squashy, because I got it all mushed up first, got it into like play dough, if you want to call it like that, then soaked it, then covered it in plastic, and just that plastic retains all the moisture. And then you put a towel in it as well. And yeah, you just roll it up and it keeps all the moisture. Yeah, it just yeah. keeps all the moisture so that's still soft, all that clay. Now listen, I don't know anything about clay making, but I thought, I must get into this bushcraft stuff. I must try making something with clay. <laughs> now then, I want to cry almost because I put a lot of work into this. <laughs> and Mike will show you, he's closer to the camera. Right. This is my first success of clay making. <laughs> it's falling out already. <laughs> this is, so what is uh, this meant to be? Uh, pots. Uh, saucepans. <laughs> it's just. I don't oh no, know. there's a slight curvature to that piece. It's, it's so wild. I can see the efforts being made. I'll give you a C3. The C3. What's for, a C3? You're the, the teacher. That's what I used to get. Bang average. Is that like two out of ten? Or something? It's like a bang average, middle of the road. Oh, settle for average. C3. They smashed. <laughs> so Can't what you? I did, guys, I made some stuff out of the clay. I thought I know what I do. This clay's nothing to it. So I went out in the garden, I dug my own clay, don't forget this is my own clay from my own property, because we are on clay. Yeah. Dug it all out, squished it all up, wife went mad because someone went down the sink, blocked the drains, I plumbed <laughs> it all out, got it out, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I kept it to make more, if you want to make more, you can make more with it, right? Mm. But what the, my mistake was, we had the log burner, and I had the log burner going, and I thought, I know they bake it, don't they, to cure it or something? Yeah. And you were saying like about a kiln wood. It, it, it's sand in the clay. It's got to be the right type of clay, which I didn't know. Put it on top of the log burner. I thought, oh, you're starting to go hard, you yeah. see? So I whacked the log burner up. Let's do it quicker. No. And then it all broke. It all yeah. broke down. I tried it again. I see. Round two. Oh. Oh, again. Hang on a there, minute. Look. Hang on a minute. There we go. That's that, not bad, Dad, actually. That was drying it very, very slowly. That's a, yeah, I think we're going up to maybe a B. A B2. Is that sort of six that's out of ten? That's a great, yeah, yeah, with six. I give that a six. It's my drinking receptacle. Oh, so I've made yeah. it out of clay so I could actually drink water from Julius the Caesar would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> what do you He got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got absolutely arty. Absolutely arty oh, designer. Oh, a jewellery box, is it? <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs>
I tried to make a little thingy, you know, with a lid and a little pippy handle on top of it as well. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good little pot, that. It's just, it's just a, is that for your wedding ring so you can hide it when you go out fishing and see, so mum doesn't know? No, it's to put my brain in. It's not very big, <laughs> is it? Don't need a lot of space, does it? Has anybody else had the same problem? They've had a go play making and dismal failure. <laughs> Underneath my bed, I always keep these things. Look, who doesn't you, keep a shovel uh, under the did bed? You, did you put this in your backpack today? You've hiked in with it. And this one, I hiked in with that as well. So this, just so people know, is heavy. It looks like a shovel. Yeah. A little shovel. And actually, this looks like old school. It's got leather straps. That's nice, yeah. This has a sharp blade there, like similar to the one I use. So it's, it's got an axe. You can use it as an axe. But they, yeah, that's light. That's way lighter than light? the other one. Yeah, really? it's lighter than the other one. 1996. There I you feel go, sorry people. for the military guys. We have to <laughs> cart all this stuff yeah, around. Yeah, fair play them. to them. But anybody tell us about this one. Now, that's a much older one because I know by the wood of the handle. It's got a spike on the end there, which a, which a main shovel, look, doesn't have that spike. It's got to be some military personnel uh, out there. Pickaxe, right? maybe? I don't know, but I can't, I can't get it out. Like a backhoe, like a hoe, little and hoe. Obviously, like the spade end of this sh turns around. I don't know how that... 1965. Wow, well, there's the date. One. So look at the, look at the difference in the technology. And wait. 1965, heavy, yeah. but I love to look at that rustic sort of handle. And then 1996. So but if the guy's bit. getting machine gun I know. and he's got to dig a foxhole, <laughs> yeah. he's not going to say, anybody got a spanner over there? <laughs> who's, got, who's got the toolbox? <laughs> Hat's gone. <laughs> My toupee's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I didn't miss. My, my toothpaste got away. It got shut off. I didn't it? know what happened then. I didn't know what happened then. Like a squirrel being shot. <laughs> if Jax was here, he'd have he'd had, had that. that. He has that. He'd yeah. have had that. He'd so tell shoveled. us about that. Uh, what what, what do, do you shovel, shovel guys know about that? They really dig it. <laughs> Tomorrow we are going to take down my bushcraft shelter, the last part of the bushcraft camp. Yeah. We're going to take it down. We just recently literally just put up the video of us taking the camp down. Mixed feedback on that, I would say. But you know, it's time for a change. I've said that before. Mm. It's time for a change. You can't you can't keep doing the same thing all the time. Maybe for you guys obviously it's 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 interesting and I know you really enjoy it, but for us it's like dad going fishing for the same fish on the same lake on the same lake the same area. all the time, week in, week out. And it can become quite draining. So, yeah, it had to be done. I, I, you know, obviously, I, apologies to the guys who really enjoy that, enjoyed the videos of that bushcraft camp. But there's, there's going to be more shelters there. There's going to sure. be different shelters there. It's going to be good fun. Got lots of ideas in the pipeline. We're not getting rid of the pallet cabin. This is going to be here. So you can have the camera first, and then I'll come and get it when you're. I'm probably going to let because this thing eats wood like you wouldn't believe. It gets so hot. This. And I, you know, to be honest, I don't think you need 30 degrees dressed like this. I'm going to be sleeping in there. Right. I'll see you in the morning, okay, Dad. Mate. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Let me get this in there. There it is, look. Cozy as Larry in Not there. Not that cozy, it's empty. <laughs> I bet you've got a secret stash somewhere. I know oh, you I do. I see you. <laughs> Clay. <laughs> right. I'll see you in the morning, Dad. <laughs> okay, <Dad. laughs> Oh, dear. To the camp. Well, boys, I am absolutely... I'll show you down there. I'm tucked up. Boots are off. I had to have that jacket off. It's so hot in there, I can't sleep with that jacket on. I mean, normally if I was fishing, I would sleep with that jacket on. So, he might give me the camera while he sorts himself out. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave it here or not, but I think it's time to say goodnight and see you guys in the morning. And one last blow of the candle. Oh, oh he's here. He's here already. He's oh, already. There's logs in the way. I can't even, I can't even get to sleep. <laughs> I come to get the camera, but I tripped over a load of logs on the way in. Right. You, you're all tucked up there. I'm all done. Cozy for you. It's cozy. I've had, right. I've had to take my jacket off. It's too cold. Uh, it's cheers. too hot in here. <laughs> right, Dad, I'll see you in the morning. Okie okay, doke. Good night. Right, well, Dad's in bed. Now it's my turn. Let's get... Go on, I did this one up tight. Right. Go. Oh look, it's already open for me. Brilliant. Get the old boots off. Please don't rain tonight. I don't fancy the drippy tarp. 
We will, I'll sleep in my trousers to begin with and if I get too hot, I don't usually, but if I get too hot, I can always take them off. Well, folks, what's funny is that I've got to get up in a minute anyway to turn this big camera light off. But thank you so much for watching, if you're still watching this far. Really appreciate it. It's been a fun one so far and tomorrow is going to be enjoyable. Cook up a good breakfast and then take down this shelter. I don't want to wobble it too much. <laughs> it's just hanging there. There's a good shelter. We changed this about four times, I think, in the end. With a little window. Right, guys. I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you in the morning. Morning, guys. Didn't sleep too bad, actually. <coughs> a couple of drips from the drippy tarp. But it's a nice, looks like it might be a nice morning. A bit windy. I don't know if Dad's up yet. I can't see him. I can hear the cabin banging around, but I can't see anything, so he's obviously not been outside yet. I think I'll get a fire going. I think it was me doing breakfast today, actually. I mean, Daddy's probably got the stove going already, because he hates the cold. Oh, I don't want to get out of the bag. It's toasty. The tarp is dripping on the sleeping bag, so I'm packing it away. And it's also dripping on this. I've got the fire going, but I want to get this packed up, otherwise it'll just get mould on it. Let's get fire going. I think Dad's up, I'm going to hear some banging in the cabin, so I'm going to go over there and get this, this fire bridge thing that I've got, which we can use to cook on the fire. Look at it, it's so empty. So sad. Can't wait to build more stuff here, though. Looks like he is certainly in here. Stove is puffing away, so I know he's awake. I've got the fire going over there. He's definitely awake, look at that. Typical. You awake, Dad? Yeah. He's awake. Oh, it's dark in here. Hey, well, I've got the window open. I've opened the blind. It's still, oh, it's toasty now. How long have you been up? <laughs> uh, about 40 minutes, not long. Did you sleep all right? I wouldn't say I had the greatest <laughs> night's sleep, but I did sleep, but you wake up. The thing I think is, I'm so used to fishing, and you're sort of on tender hooks waiting for something to happen. Yeah. You know, an alarm to go off. Whereas when you're like this, nothing's going to happen you, you end up listening to things it's what's going on what's why is it so quiet it is nice isn't it yeah, well, yeah you... it's good yeah that thing is just the old stove i can't tell you now what we got oh you to... put the pipe oven on yeah, as well I put, I put, i've done the oven on there and uh yeah the temperature's up already what's the you're up to nearly 80 degrees at the moment yeah, nice yeah. Oh, i, I didn't... think it's breakfast time how'd you sleep over there yeah not too bad i had a drippy tarp though so yeah uh, that's a bit annoying, just dripping on the bag every now and then. Do the wind come up during the night? Yeah, yeah, the trees, there's a few branches coming down. I'll film it outside in a minute. There's I definitely... thought, am I under a widow maker? <laughs> Will this cabin take a full on 10 ton widow maker coming down? But I'm okay, but I thought the flapping of the um, tarp might be annoying. Yeah, no, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It's I more think... this morning it's come up. Yeah, I think it's more to come. I think it's weather for We should crack on. Yeah, it's going to rain. Uh... What have we got? We've got breakfast. I'm going to do yeah, some bre breakfast. Should we split it? Because seeing as you've got the stove going. Well, I might have breakfast. Um... <laughs> 
still trying to get together. I'm not an early starter, guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, my wife is this man's mother. Yeah, I'm an early bird. <laughs> you and mum are early birds. They yeah. get up because they worked early. Mike used to get up 6.30 to do the teacher training, didn't you? Yeah, teacher. 6. No, six 5.30 o'clock. and get there for 6. I'd take yeah. kids swimming at 6.30 in the morning, <laughs> so I did training, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, on the other hand, my other side of the family, we've always been in business, so we work later in the evenings because you have paperwork and stuff to do, so I'm... I'm way better. I can do stuff at 11 o'clock at night. It's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. But 6 o'clock in the morning, morning. it's not happening now. No, so we've got no. a fry-up. Good old English fry-up. English. Well, you've got the fire going over there. you got yeah. your fire going? Yeah, fire's going over. I've got to grab the fire bridge from behind here, behind the cabin. It's outside. Yeah. Oh, it's outside, yeah. Yeah, I'll go and grab that and set that up. Okay. Do you want to do the tea on yours? Uh, the water's already in the canister. I think we put the water on there. I think it's here. It's loaded with water. It's there. That's it. Slide him on. We put it up last night. Most important tea, first thing in the morning to get the brain going. Any Englishman needs a tea in the morning. Well, I think, is it, you know, make the bread. All right. I'll do the beans in this billy can on top of that. All right, and if I'll you, do the... If you take the frying pan over to yours, yeah. and do the sausage and egg, Okay. and I'll get the tea probably going, it's going to boil fairly quickly. Okay, I've got to set uh, up the fire bridge We'll first. meet halfway. All we'll right. meet halfway. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, no pops. She's windy. So windy. <laughs> Look at it. Whoa. They be swaying. Did a bell. <laughs> right. Let's crack on. The dinner bell is ringing. Whoa. All right. All right. <laughs> If Jax was here, he'd be flying past me. He's not going to be in there. Yeah. Oh, it's looking good. How do you get in here and smell this bread? It's unbelievable. Oh, oh, that does smell good. I'm going to take those beans off. Hey, let me take that fresh. off. fresh. It's hot. Okay, I'll put it on the, the kettle. There's the kettle, guys. This oh, is yeah. the uh, old the keystone. Steaming away. Steaming away, so that's ready for pouring. You just lift it off like this. Yeah. We're all set. We're all set there. The beans are ready. I'm going to take them off. Check that bread out. Let's put this in here first. Let's get so hand. It's, it's ridiculous. I've got three things on the go there. Yeah. I'm doing beans. That's a good effort. Fry. Good, uh, good father-son team effort. It was, there. To, to, but it doesn't say much for men cooking, does it? <laughs> that it took two of us, <laughs> two, two fires, two fires, <laughs> to, to get this done. But check that bread out, baby. Look at that. Let me bring this down oh, for you. Oh yeah, that's good. There you go. Look at that. It smells brilliant. It smells yeah. like a baker's, doesn't it? Really good. He's even put his initials on the cup. Just in case somebody just steals it. Just in case someone steals his At my age, you're forgetful, so just... Uh, a little tip, guys, when you got this, you think automatically put it back on. No. Don't put it back on, because it's now going to be empty and will get hot and be wasted. Let's put it on the floor, yeah. So on the floor, out of the way. Tea's Cups. ready. Sausages look like they're, uh, well, they're well cooked. Done, yeah. yeah. That's almost like a photo-worthy breakfast, like you see on the sides. Well. The, or the restaurant menus. Yeah, like... Uh, Oh, oh, that's oh, yours. Skills. Oh, Lovely, that's Dad. yours. That's yours. Just slide it off. <laughs> We've even got some butter with us. <laughs> it's hot. Ow, ow, ow. Glove. I don't know what we've been using with a glove. That is steaming. That is hot, man. Ow. 
Did you ever got Rick Layer's hands? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it. That butter's going to have no problem melting in there. In fact, that butter is cold. It must have been colder than we thought last yeah. night. So that butter's that's not well. softened at all. Yeah, it's not softened at all. It looks cosy. It looks cosy up in there, doesn't it, Dad? The actual picture does, yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty, yeah. looks pretty cosy in here. Just pallets. I mean, it's, yeah. it's pieces of wood, scrap wood. It's amazing. Recycled. Recycled. I'll pop a link to the pallet wood cabin build series as well, where we've built this all from recycled pallet wood from supermarkets and industrial estates where we yeah, got permission yeah, yeah. to get it all. You just but it was free, yeah. A lot of people, in some countries, you have I to pay it, for them. I think apparently. in the US, some of you guys said you had to pay for pallets hmm. to, 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 to collect one. They they charge you, which wouldn't surprise me if our government started doing that, to be honest. They're charging for everything nowadays. Well, Parking's <coughs> the worst. I want to know, did you uh, actually eat anything through the night? Because I know you are known no. to snack. No. No food for me. I don't tend to eat too late at night. They say it makes you dream, don't they? Mm. Come up Christmas, Dad gets his token Toblerone bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And sellotape, roll of sellotape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got 14 rolls of sellotape in the office desk. What would you say is your most common Christmas present? S sellotape. Sell <laughs> sellotape. I say, I say to them all, I don't want, because look, at the end of the day, my age, you think, what do you need? Listen, there's a huge, huge difference between needing and wanting. Yeah. And the older you get, maybe some older guys out there might confirm it, you actually want, you know, less and less. You just mm. realise you want the things that you enjoy using, working with, you Tools know. And stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, a, look, a hammer's a hammer. Yeah, a hammer's a nail in for me. You can go get a really expensive one. It might last longer, but it's not going to hammer the nail in any better, is it? Because no. it's up to you to hammer the nail in. <laughs> good that, sausages, I have to say. And that's why you get so much sellotape. Yeah, because we're not very good with us joining things together. <laughs> Sellotape tavern. We, we sort of throw back to childhood. Turkish Delight bars. Oh yeah. Oh, Graham always loves Turkish Delight, sir. Boom, you get packets of them. You, you know, do, don't you? Every yeah. Christmas you get Turkish Delight. But I don't, I don't eat them now because I find them too sweet. My diet's, my taste buds have changed from sweet, which is when you're young, to mine. I don't like spicy. What would it be? Savoury? Savoury. Yeah. I like savoury now. For all those out there, Merry Christmas to you all. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, Year. New Year as well. We hope you have a good Christmas spent with friends and family. Thank you so much for watching TA Fishing and TA Outdoors. And thank you to those guys from the last video who went and subscribed to TA Fishing. I think the numbers really went up, didn't Yeah, they? really kind, really kind of you. Thanks, Dad's, I appreciate Dad's that. near the 200,000 mark. He's on, as we say this, what, three quarters of a million or something? I think so. <laughs> I mean, we're ne we've, never, Crazy. we've never really done this all for numbers. We've always just done it for the passion. We're not, we're not really in, in the whole numbers game, are we? We've, no, you, we've, we've both been around well before YouTube was monetized. So it always started out as a passion anyway. Yeah, we just did it. We just made TA Fishing, like we said, has been going since f f seven years now. TA Outdoors about five, I think, maybe, yeah, five years. So it's relatively, I've grown relatively fast pretty quickly, but um, people se seem to think I'm, we're, we're sort of new on the block, but we're not. We've been around a long time. Mm. But we're just, we do it for the passion and we do it for the, that's why we make so many videos and we make weekly videos. We should do a story time instead of a theory time. Oh, I tell you what. Because Dad always tells me some of his um, fishing stories from years ago. And I always remember them as a kid when you used to tell me them. One of my favourites was tell the guys about the um, the guy on the boat with the gun. With the shark. Oh, yeah. This is honestly, this is one of my favourite stories. It's not, it's, it's a true story. It's true, it? absolutely it's true. It's a true story, but Dad has, I keep asking Dad to write a book. Well, because to... your life story is just insane. Let me to... get in on this. I used to go to Florida quite a lot. Uh, go for big sharks, big, 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 it's in the big thing. God, this was in the late 70s, early 80s. And I used to bring a lot of fish in then. I guess they sold them for meat, whatever. I didn't eat them. And um, we used to go for sharks. Now, I remember the first time I went for big sharks, it was out of a place called The Hump, which I think is about 12 miles off Whale Harbour, Isla Mirada. It's in one of my books. And I remember we going out, anyhow, I hooked this big shark. I think I had a hammerhead or something like that, it'd be in the book. Anyway, I hooked a really, really big one. They were taking like whole amberjacks, and they still do that now. We were deep dropping with these amberjacks. In the fighting chair, hauling away, hauling away, getting the shark up. My heart's pounding. 
just sort of look over the side and think, holy beep, the size of it. It later turned out, so they bought it, it was a £455 bull shark. Whoa. Wasn't estimated. That's like a, that was hung, hung up. It was, uh, it was, it don't do it now, but it was hung up then. And I just remember, as he was talking it, the skipper just, I just saw this, whatever it was, come right past my ear like this, right? Like a barrel. <laughs> and boom, boom. <laughs> and he just shot it with a 12 gauge. And I can, I've never forgotten that. You know, I was, more, I was more scared of the 12 gauge and my yeah. hearing going. <laughs> just a barrel no, sneaking past. That's why I'm going deaf in this ear. Really? It's I, thought it, that. I thought it was your mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was old Captain Jim's shotgun. That's crazy. Good story. I, I'm going to eventually get Dad to write a book because there's so many good stories you've got. Right, so plan is finish the breakfast. Well, yeah, I've noticed. Well, yeah, yeah I, I've wafted that down. So we'll finish now. Finish breakfast. Let, I think we can let the stove burn out now. Let the yeah, stove yeah. burn out. The fire's pretty much burnt out at the camp. And then it's the, the final goodbye of taking down the last shelter and keeping all that wood nice and dry. This is it. We're taking down the final shelter. Let's go with this wall first. It's already falling apart. We are keeping the cordage, by the way. Some people asked about the last video. Long bits, small bits to take home, put the rubbish Yeah, in. the twine, the jute twine that I used, I'm gonna keep that for some fire lighting because you can just fluff it up. Uh, so I won't be using that to retie because it's got some wear in it now. But the rest, definitely keeping. There's a bit there. There we go. Oh, that was rotten. <laughs> that was gone. That was rotten. Gonna, gonna fall. Watch out, people. Last time he nearly hit me. Well, that's, that's how, that was just a vertical. You do the other end. See, this is where it might come out. <laughs> There's a new toe now. I knew, I knew it was gonna go that time. The last wall. <laughs>
almost as loud as your snoring, Dad. That is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Close competition between that and your snoring. We've already got damage report. <laughs> yeah, put a like father, well. like father, like son. Yeah, so imagine, imagine, yeah, it's, yeah. Ge <laughs> it's genetic. <laughs> Mike says, oh, I'll clip my finger. Within five minutes, I said, where's all this red stuff coming from? And you, you cut your fingers yeah, well. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> I learned from the best, you see. Saying this again for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Warm enough, wasn't it? Look, that's a lot of wood, isn't it, Dad? That is a lot of wood. That is the, that's the entire bushcraft camp. And you cut that, or people have to realise, Mike did this years ago, mostly with what they call it, the barco? The little bar folding pruning saw. folding sword. pruning saw, yeah. most of those. Hundreds, if not thousands yeah. of cuts you've made. So if you're looking to build a bushcraft camp, like I did, that's how many resources you're going to need. But it's good, it's all kept in pretty good condition. Yeah. I'm going to reuse that to build lots of different shelters, so make sure you stick around, guys. Let's put some tarp over it. I'm wondering, do we put it long ways that way? Yeah, do that. Go right there. It's been in the open, so it's not. Is that covering it though? Yeah, right over the edge, ready to run off it. And there we go. That's all the recycled tarps from the bushcraft camp. Keeping that wood nice and dry. I'm gonna put that over by the cabin and then we're gonna say goodbye. So we finished the sawhorse. This is what we added, this section here at the end. It's way more rigid, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, way more rigid. You take a longer piece and you can cut short bits. So the sawhorse lives on from the bushcraft camp, which is handy because it's gonna be good for building other shelters uh, and just chopping up general firewood this winter. It lasted well then. This, about, yeah, three, four years, I think, yeah. the original one, but it's just so much more handy having that second yeah. cross section. We can there. do shortcuts. Yeah, right, we're going to store this by the cabin. It's over. That was where the bushcraft camp was for about five years. It feels weird, man. It feels really weird. To think that the tower, the tower was about here, all the way up there. Lots of fun. Thanks so much, guys, for joining on that bushcraft camp update adventure. I've um, got rid of the fire pit mostly, but I've left some of the plate there because if I, when I do build other shelters here and have a fire, I can still use that pit. It's been a good, good fun overnighter. It'd be weird walking away from this. Well, this is it. It's been a, it's been good fun, hasn't it? Dad? I really enjoyed this one. I absolutely enjoyed it. Yeah. Especially the cooking. It all turned out, and it wasn't all burnt this time. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been good. I think that's our first father-son overnighter. Yep. Geez, well, yeah. we've done it fishing, but oh, over, fishing over in the woods time. certainly. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, and thank you, like I say, to those guys that subscribed from the Bushcraft Camp Update series. Mm, it's good. been an adventure, but it is time for something new. You know, it's time for me as well as a personal journey to move on to pastures new and uh, some, some different adventures. We're going to go on new adventures. We're going to build different structures and experience different things. So make sure you're subscribed 
to both TA Outdoors and TA Fishing. There's so much really cool content coming your way. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Have a good one. Have a good one, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers. to get the camera. <laughs>